the most important aspect of the functional strength program we have seen previously, which is power. Now we're going to develop the foundational program, the tissue strength the, upon which you can build the power and speed program that we have to have in a sprint program. We have pure strength and we also have muscle endurance. On this foundation we build the speed and explosion that's required for sprinting. What Marcus and Mitch are doing here are your basic pull-ups and dips. This set of exercises is good for the arms and shoulders. You have no trouble finding someone in your area who can help you set a good program involving proper technique and the right number of repetitions. Now Mitch is demonstrating the standard push-up. And shoulder width apart, back straight, and the chest all the way to the floor. Well, what we've seen here is a test or an exercise for arm and shoulder girdle pushing power. Now you can use a lot of variation here. Here we saw it initially by Mitch doing a shoulder width exercise. Now we can bring the hands in to form a heart and you'll see there's a little different working relationship. Mitch, go ahead and get down there. Put your hands in that heart situation. Now try to put your nose in that heart and right back up. You see that throws a little more emphasis on the arms. All right, another one. That's good. And all the way up, all right? That's good, Mitch. All right, the next variation we can do for speed and explosion and power, and we can do this in all these areas, is to do a shoulder width display of the hands, drive up explosively and clap your hands and catch yourself again. All right, Mitch, think you can handle that? All right, down and up and explode hard. Explode up, clap those hands. All right, two. See if you can do it twice. Do it twice. There you go. All right, that's good. Now this will give a good idea of explosive power of the arm and shoulder girdle pushing ability. There are two forms of bench press important to muscle endurance in the arms and shoulders. The first is a standard bench press being demonstrated by Marcus. Mitch is doing the incline press on your right. Now we have a couple of pulling motions. The lat pull down being shown on your left and the lat row motion on the right. As we move on through this step of the muscle endurance training, we come to a couple forms of the sit-up designed to help your trunk development. You can see our standard form with Marcus there on the left and on your right, Mitch is doing a variation of an inclined bench. Now another good variation on the bench sit-up is to work with a partner and throw the medicine ball. This is a good timing exercise and puts an added load on the stomach and lower back muscles. You can then add any number of variations to the trunk movement with the ball. Here, we have a couple of methods of strengthening the neck. On the left, you see the neck machine, which provides resistance during the exercise. On the right, the man form of exercise. You can find a partner to work with on this particular exercise. Or if you're a coach, you can divide your athletes into pairs for this and other exercises.